Hello, hello, this is another project update from uh, Journeyman Project. This is looking at the transport and no prizes for guessing what this is. Um, looking an awful lot like the original uh, at the moment, just concepting it, trying to get a feel for how the original worked um, in terms of the shapes. Trying to get that feel of the original back into it as well as trying to build in you know some extra functionality in there a little bit more character a little bit more about how um, it might operate looking specifically I'll just zoom in here different you know different um, sort of build styles all the rest of it I find that the more that I work on the TSA the more I'm going in for the big connectors um, the big black pipes the bolts, heavy duty bolts on every surface as you see it. Really that hasn't been a design choice as I've gone through. Uh, that's more been just how it's come out really, thinking about the setting that it's in, the fact that, you know, World War Three's happened and, you know, technology probably took a little bit of a, a backwards step maybe, but then obviously, you know, um, trying to make best use of what they had and, and things like that so uh, I, I kind of liked the idea of especially with the TSA the fact that this you know really high-end technology it's a time machine was made to look almost steampunkish um, you know very very put together um, despite it being this you know fantastic machine but anyway Let's have a, a quick look at this. Um, it's going to be interesting to try and get this done. Let's put this back into material mode. And if I just do a select on that, right, okay. So everything in this is mirrored. Um, so for example, if I rotate that around the z-axis and I'll show you. Oops, let's get it right. So they can open right out to there obviously facilitates the, the arms coming up. Every part of uh, these segments is actually jointed. So this whole piece rotates around this vertical. This second piece rotates around this axis, this third piece around this. These are all parented. So when this piece moves, these follow it. So obviously in the final animation, you'd have this would come up, this would rotate out, and then this would come around that axis. The door as well, um, if I rotate that on the X again, that opens up like that. So obviously the doors would come out, sorry, the, the arms would come out the way the door would open. This bottom piece can actually slide up towards this top piece once all this is out of the way. Um, the chair moves front and back and the bit that I find a little bit more sort of functionally what's the word um, functional that'll do is that yellow square never seemed to have a use uh, in the original what I thought about here was as well as that being illuminated that could signify when the door is actually unlocking so when it's down here the door is locked as you walk towards it and you activate it that'll come up Arms will come out, door will open, chair will slide forwards. So I thought that was that was an interesting little um, an interesting little touch. Um, again, trying to get back to the idea of you know why was it in the original? Trying to think about why it was put there, what use it could possibly have, all the rest of it. Um, let's also let's see if I can do this right. Okay, so that's putting the one of the walls back in just to, to, to put it into context. Let's have a look at the camera view. Yeah, that's not too bad there. Um, so at the minute, you know, having a look at these pipes, there's other pipes obviously thread their way um, down the, the full length of the, of the hallway. I'm going to start building a box down here that'll actually take a tap off one of the scanner I nearly said rings, it's not a ring, it's a it's a pipe, scanner pipes, that'll do. Um, as though it's you know it's taken power from 
the scanners, the idea that everything's actually being driven from the main sort of Pegasus hull. But anyway, that's uh, that's where that stands at the minute. Um, so I'd just like to take the opportunity to uh, wish everyone a very Merry Christmas and all the best for 2013. And uh, I'll see you in the future with more updates. Thanks a lot. Bye.